Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and welcome back. So now let us continue with the equivalent circuit of the induction motor. And then some of the description. So an induction motor has two magnetically coupled circuits. So namely the stator and the rotor whereby the letter is short circuit at the end of the uh, configuration is being short circuit so this is similar to a transformer that the secondary side is rotating and short circuit so what makes the im or the industrial machine difference compared to transformer this because the secondary side is rotating is spinning and also short circuit and then uh, motor has balanced three phase circuits Consequently, the single phase representation is surface. Since uh, the motor is consisting of balanced three phase circuit, and then we just need a single phase representation in order to, in order to do the further analysis. And next, both the stator and rotor have windings uh, which have a resistance and leakage inductance. So, resistance represents in symbol of R and leakage inductance symbol of X okay. and then basically this is the imagery part of the impedance okay. the stator and rotor windings are represented by a resistance and leakage returns connected in series so both are connected in series so we have no big uh, issue with the connection So a transformer represents the magnetic coupling between the two circuits. So this this is the uh, the general definition. If we go back to the back to the transformer chapter, so we have uh, or it is actually represented by a magnetic coupling, uh, of course between two circuits. By the stator produce a rotating magnetic field that induces voltage in both winding. Okay, as uh, stator as well as the uh, rotor. So the magnetizing reactance SM and a resistance connected in parallel represent the magnetic field generation. Okay, and then next uh, on the other hand the resistance RC represent the eddy current and also the hysteresis losses in the like iron core or known as the core losses. So we have over here H plus H plus in a resist and hysteresis and also the eddy current losses. So about in this voltage, it's, this actually depends on the slip and the turn off ratio S and also, uh, also N. So this is how the transformer model looks like. So off an induction motor. So this is again the per phase equivalent circuit. So R1, okay. this is actually a stator a resistor. So we have JX1 or X1 over here. This is a stator leakage returns. So this is, so we have been introduced by RC just now. This is iron core loss due to the hysteresis and eddy current losses. So we have the uh, magnetizing returns XM, okay, from this winding. All right, we, then we have the induced voltage E1, all right. So the rotor induced voltage ER. And then in between, we have the effective uh, turn ratio or A effective. And then next, we have the IR, okay, the uh, rotor current. So the induced rotor current over here, as well as the leakage returns of the rotor XR and the uh, rotor resistance over here. Okay. So this is how we can actually, how can we can... Uh, transform the model into the equivalent circuit and some of the component over here uh, which which is can be uh, explained or it can it can be understand so the magnetization curve over here shows that uh, the reaction between the flux in Weber and also the magnetophys sorry magnetophys um, magnetophys Fields uh, uh, F in a uh, unit of ampere per button. So we have the MMF magnetometer 
feel okay versus uh, the flux wave so the transformer in blue and in the Shimoto in in red so the curve is uh, shallower for the induction motor here uh, all this here okay all let me change the color into yellow it's much better so uh, the induction motor over here is uh, a little bit shallower because of the air gap in an induction motor that increase the reactance so this is the effect of the a gap inside the induction motor that increase the return of flux parts okay so more magnetizing current is needed and then since the more magnetizing current is needed therefore uh, the mmf or the magnetic force versus flux is less produced okay less produced and less produced compared to time compared to transformer And then uh, the primary impedance, okay, the primary impedance and the magnetization current. So this magnetization current of the induction motor are very similar to the corresponding component in a transformer equivalent circuit. This means at the primary primary part. And then uh, what about the stator? So the induction motor only differs from the equivalent circuit of transformer in terms of the effect of braying. Uh, rotor frequency on the rotor voltage ER and the rotor impedance RR and JXR. So this is uh, you can see if can if we can go back to the previous uh, covalent circuit, you can see that this is the impedance of the rotor, okay, which is mentioned over here. The rotor impedance that makes the induction motor different compared to the uh, transformer, and of course the rotor voltage e, ER. Okay, the induced auto voltage. The rotor model circuit. So now we try to emphasize on the rotor part since it is got, uh, a, a little bit different compared to transformer. And during the transformer chapter, we have seen how the primary uh, side of the transformer has been described, has been uh, comprehensively described, and come out with the equivalent circuit. But however, for the rotor circuit model of the uh, induction motor needs more uh, intention. So here the magnitude of uh, induced rotor voltage is directly proportional to slips. Okay, so we can say that uh, the uh, ER is actually, okay, the induced rotor voltage is uh, directly proportional to the, to the slips of uh, rotor. So largest during lock rotor, over here largest uh, during uh, lock rotor and then what happened the smallest during Synchronous speed. So during lock rotor mean S equal to largest equal to uh, one. You can see that, and then smallest uh, S equal to zero. That makes the motor run at synchronous speed with stator magnetic field. So E R equal to S E R O. So you can come up with this formula or in this relationship during lock rotor, especially the E R O. And RR, uh, so from this uh, induced voltage here, from this induced voltage, so contains a resistance and reactance, which is, which is shown over here. Okay. So RR is constant, but XR is, the reactance R is dependent of, of speed. So whereby XR equal to omega R and R, so, so expand the uh, equation of omega R, so we obtain 2 phi FR omega LR. All right. So this is the first relationship. So what's next? So by uh, FR equal to SFE here, so we can uh, get, we can get this formula XR equal to SXRO. Okay, in terms of impedance, uh, impedance. Uh, sorry, the, the reactance, all right? So we have XR just now. Uh, so let's say we have this equation. Again, we rewrite over here. So we have FR, L, LR. Okay, what is LR? So all um, uh, multiply, we just multiply. So LR is actually uh, the roto induction. So since we have F, R equal to S F E. So now we have X R. Okay. So now we have uh, one and two. So two into one. 
okay so here 2 into 1 we have now xr equal to 2 pi s f e l r okay so xr equal to s okay take out s and factorize f uh, 2 pi f e l r okay ready and the one in bracket is actually okay uh, x r o okay and then to simplify the equation so we have x r equal to s x r o okay it goes over here okay all right so the equivalent circuit looks like this one so we have uh, again the IR, so this is JXR equal to JXXRO over here. So sorry, because it is uh, hidden uh, at the back of the uh, derivation. So we have IR over here, okay, we have JXR equal to JXRO. So we have the ER which is equal to SERO. So you can see clearly in your printed, I believe uh, in your printed uh, PDF notes. Now what about the rotor current? So we have IR equal to ER over R, ER over R plus JXR. So you just apply again in this closed loop circuit, K, KVL, sorry, not KCL, but KVL, and come up with this equation. IR again equal to ER over RR plus JXR. So now ER is what? ER is actually E, ERO. Okay, from here. Okay, it's actually SRO. Let me derive for you. So we start with IR, big R or capital R. So this is equal to ER over R R. Oops. Okay, plus G XR. So now IR equal to what is ER? ER is S E R okay. is written over here actually. Okay, the log uh, roto, log roto induced voltage, and then all this divided by IR plus J X R. So in order to remove this S, so we divide everything by, by S. So now we have uh, IR. So now we have ERO. So we have plus, oh sorry, over RR. Now we have a new RR which is divided by S. And plus GXR. RO okay. because JXRO is over here. XRO is actually XR okay, over over S. Right. Yeah, let me uh, cancel this one. Okay. So now we have XRO is actually uh, XR over over S. So we have over here just now. Again back this is XR over S and this is equal to J. XRO similar to this one, all right? Similar to this one, okay? Now, this this uh, this is actually Z because according to Ohm's law, we have uh, V equal to I, I R, okay? So now, in terms of I, we have V over R. Okay, or we have can we can say uh, e over z the impedance. Okay, so now compare this uh, Ohm's law with this equation. So we can say that this is actually z r or the equivalent equivalent z r. Okay, the one in this uh, blue color, color or blue box. Z r q equal to r over s plus jx ro so this is how you do the uh, derivation 
now uh, we got the final equivalent circuit, the per phase circuit of course. So refer rotor circuit to stator side similar to transformer where we refer uh, secondary refer to primary. So this is what we have uh, in transformer. So this is actually VP equal to VS prime equal to AVS. And then we have IP which is equal to IS prime equal to IS over A, Z prime S equal to Z squared. Yes. So, however, on the uh, other side, we have E1 equal to ER prime equal to E effective, ERO, so the ro ro roto uh, in the voltage. So, we have I2 equal to IR over e, e effective. And then we have the impedance Z2 E effective squared. So, Z RR over S plus the XRO. So, we try to compare between these two and come up with a more specific equation for induction motor once we refer uh, to primary and then uh, finally again this is how the per phase equivalent circuit of induction motor looks like and we have the v phase so we have the x or x uh, one r1 i1 over here so this is the excitation branch consist of rc plus the sm the uh, magnetizing current over here so the induced voltage and then we have the rotor part <coughs> which has been referred just now uh, and now we have the equivalent z consists of x2 plus r2 over over s okay so r2 equal to a squared effective r r r okay, and then x2 equal to a squared effective x r o okay. Alright then, uh, okay. Thank you very much uh, for watching. So we will continue again uh, in the subtopic of power and talk before we come to the uh, example one and example two to have a better understanding on how to analyze or to calculate the problem with induction machine. So again, uh, thank you very much. Signing off.